Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about the node named Kefton. So what does Kefton do? Let's take an example. We have a t-shirt model. So let's say we have a t-shirt model now. With the help of this tool, we can virtually put a t-shirt on the model. There are many examples like changing the upper part, lower part, dress, or overall outfit. There are so many things you can do with this node. So let's try this node in Comfy UI. First, I have given the link in the description. Open Comfy UI and load the workflow. The workflow link is in the description. You can download the workflow from there. If you find any missing nodes, they are shown in red. You need to go to the manager and install them. Here is the node you need to download. Comfy UI Cat Written Wrapper. Once the node is installed, here's what to do next. You need to go to Google Drive and download every model. Denoise dress code miss 48 ks. Save them in your comfy. Model cat written folder. If you don't see a cat written folder, create a new folder with that name. Save all the files here like this. If the node installation fails, here's what you need to do. Go to the folder and make sure you copy. This and write python.exe and copy it. Then go to the custom node captain folder command paste and just copy it. That's what you need to do to run this node. Once everything is done, open Comfy UI and this type of workflow will open. Here you need to upload the model. For example, I am uploading this model and here is the... dress you want to upload. From here you can give a prompt like if you want a t-shirt you type. Shirt. You can change it to pants, a dress, or whatever type of clothing output you select. This will mask the area for the shirt. Let's run it. Here you can see it masks the area for the shirt. You can use FP for better results. Here you can see it has Change the t-shirt of the woman I have loaded. Now let's do something else. We have a woman. And here is the cloth we want to place on her. FP32 takes a little more time if you have low VRAM like 4 gigabytes. Then you can go for FP16, but if you have 8GB VRAM, FP32 still works. As you can see here, it puts the given t-shirt on the model. How good is this node? Let's try another one. Here is the woman. We want to change her dress. You can write, you can change the prompt from t-shirt to dress, and it automatically detects. Look it changed the woman's clothes. It finally put the dress on the model and we have a woman in a t-shirt and pants. I want to put this dress on her. 
Look how well it embeds the t-shirt on the model. So here you have it. There's a problem as we can see from before. The arms of the t-shirt were added to the same place where it was masked. Where the t-shirt is not placed on the model correctly, and the arms are cut improperly. Here's how you can fix it. The first method is this. You can select that part through masking, like if I mask the arms here in this. Way as you can see, our problem is fixed. Sometimes models are like this and... The outfit is very different, so the segment can't mask it properly. When we get the wrong result repeatedly, what can we do? We load the image, change our model. First adding the model to which we want to apply our outfit. Then we change the mask and select it manually. As I select, I want this outfit in this area, so I've selected the area of the outfit and now... You can see that the t-shirt has been applied properly. That's it for today. For more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and like this video.